Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Planet Uncultured video. Uh, I am your host, Mason, one of your hosts, and today we are going to be looking at the uh, shiny starter last evolutions, I guess. Uh, we are going to be putting them into a tier list because you do not have enough tier list content on your timeline. But I, uh, I know I've talked about it a few times in the podcast episodes that I'm a pretty big shiny hunter. So I think it would just be kind of fun to look at uh, all of the best and worst um, evolutions for the starters. I'm, again, I'm not doing the like beginning evolutions like Squirtle, Charmander, or uh, Bulbasaur, cause just because that would take quite a long time to do. And I'm not really trying to turn this into a 30-minute video. But I still think it would be fun to look at uh, the starters, the, the shiny starters over the years and what we have as of now. Here's hoping Gen 9 have good ones. Uh, but anyway, I think we should just kind of jump into it. Sorry, all of them down here are not really in any order for the most part, it seems like. So I'm going to still like pull them from each generation. Like I'll do uh, Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise first, and then so on and so forth. And see if I can find <laughs> and sort them out for you guys. But to get this started, let's start with um, Venusaur. And I think Venusaur is a decent shiny. It's not my favorite. It just doesn't change. I, I like the... Because I do like how it turns to yellow instead of the red. But I think, I'll, yeah, it's a solid B tier, I think. I think it's not like... It's not my favorite by any means, but it's not the... It's not terrible. It's just an okay shiny, in my opinion. I think that honestly is the same kind of for Blastoise. I'll put that a little bit higher because I like the um, purple, honestly, and how his shell turns a darker green. It's just a decent way of doing a turtle, I guess. But at the same time, that blue is not enough of a change for me to actually get it, uh, I don't know, to do anything for me. But that being said, we can go on to the next guy, which is Charizard, which... <sighs> you already know where this is going to be <laughs> in the list. It's it's kind of a tough one to not put in the S tier. I mean, look at it. It's a, a black and red dragon. Charizard is already an awesome looking uh, Pokemon. And then when you get it shiny, being a black uh, dragon with red on the wings, it's beautiful. It is really, really good. It is definitely one of my favorite shiny Pokemon, um, like, in general. I've had one for, I think, since Gen 3, where I traded one, and I've had him uh, with me in my boxes ever since he has traveled with me. So it is just a solid starter. And that will also do it um, for Kanto. So next we move on to Gen 2. And I will start with the first one I see down here for Alligator. Now, for Alligator, in my opinion, it's honestly not the best. I think it's kind of the same as Venusaur. Where it's just... Uh, I mean, I like the Pokemon, but the Shiny, it it could have done more to actually make it look shiny, I feel like. They, they just didn't... It doesn't feel like it put a... They had a lot of thought put into it, and you can kind of tell. Um, to move on from that, we'll go with Meganium. Now, Meganium, honestly, honestly, I know Meganium sucks and all, right? But the gold, man, the gold really, really, it just reminds me of a lemon dinosaur, honestly. And that is something that I really love. I'm honestly, I'm putting it, uh, it's kind of hard to put it anywhere. I'll put it in B. I'm putting it in B. I'll put it in B. It'll go in B. It'll go in B. It's just, uh, it's tough. But uh, with that, we are on Typhlosion, which is actually my favorite starter of all time, which is actually kind of unfortunate because I don't love the shiny in all honesty. It's just, it's not that much of a change in my opinion, where the dark blue on his back turns purple-ish, and I love purple, but it's just, yeah, it's going in B tier. This list might have way too many in B tier by the end of it. But that's okay. Um, that'll also do it for Gen 2. So we should move on to Gen 3. Ooh, this is a real stinker, actually. 
Because on Gen 3, we have Blaziken. Blaziken is flat out going in D tier. Blaziken is awesome. It's one of my favorite... Nah, probably not one of my favorite starter Pokemon. But it is a really solid starter Pokemon. Unfortunately, the shiny kind of falls flat. And it really hardly changes the red on its torso. And I guess upper body. I mean, I like that it makes it darker, I guess. But it's really hardly a change. And it's really not... Not my favorite out of really any of them. It's just not It's not stellar, in my opinion. It's just okay. It's simply okay. Um, but with that, we have Sceptile. And Sceptile, straight up S tier. Straight up S tier. It looks so good. I love it so much. That teal and the red on its back, it just makes it pop. And it works so well for this Pokemon. Uh, it's, it's one of my favorite shinies just in general, so... It, it deserves so much love. I really, really love the, uh, just, just how the red accents on the teal and just makes it, oh, I love it. It's so good. Um, with that though, where are we? Where is he? He's in here somewhere. Oh, I literally just had, he's right here. Here is Swampert. Um, Swampert is not a, it's, eh. It's, it's not terrible, but again, it's a pink shiny, and everyone knows the uh, pink shiny stigma where they're either super good or super bad, and I don't love how literally everything that's blue on him just kind of turns to pink. Uh, I don't hate it at the same time, though. I, don't, I'll, uh, I think I'm going to switch a little bit, and I might honestly put for alligator down at the C, C tier just to... Um, Keep it a little more even. Um, with that being said, Swamper again, strong middle, probably middle of the of the run. I don't know. It's kind of hard to put it anywhere higher than that because it's again, it's really solid, and everyone loves Swamper, but uh, it just doesn't do it for me, in my opinion. Um, to move on now, we're on Gen Four. Gen Four is Empoleon, Infernape, and Turt. Or not Turtwig. Why am I blanking on your name right now, sir? Um, but to start, we'll start with Empoleon, which... It's not the best, in my opinion. I'm putting it right with Feraligator, I think. And I just... I don't love that they made um, the Penguin Pokemon more lighter instead of a dark, like... I don't know, traditional Pokemon or a Penguin. For, which is, I guess, the base Empoleon. But at the same time, it's just... It's not my favorite. It's not the best. I feel like it just kind of falls flat. It's not too big of a change. Uh, that being said, we'll move to Infernape, which is luckily a lot, lot more solid of a Pokemon. That's a solid A tier in my opinion. Uh, I just kind of love every what they did with it. <laughs> it just looks really, really good in my opinion. Uh, Infernape, I'm kind of biased towards, though, because I love Infernape for the most part. And I really don't know what it is about this shiny, but I just love his, uh, like, the, you can, it's hard to tell in the sprites, especially since I don't have, uh, the normal version to compare it to. But the way his, his, his hair, the, the, I don't know how to, the fire hair, I guess, it turns to, like, a deeper red almost. I just like the colors, well, especially along his body, a lot more than the base colors they give. I just kind of think that, like, this is the version of Infernape we should see normally, which is why he's going this high up. Uh, I definitely get the criticism where he's just kind of not that big of a change, but for what it is, I really like it. It is kind of hypocritical. Hip can't say the word, so I guess it's not, but it's just kind of hypocritical of me to say that it hardly has a change and that I like that about it when you guys uh, are hurting down here. But that being said, oh my gosh, am I going to blank on him? I, why can't I think of his name? I really like the Pokemon. Oh my gosh. Uh, Torterra! That's what it is. Holy crap, that was brutal. And they call me a Pokemon fan. But my uh, treatment for him is going to be kind of rough because I really, really love Torterra, honestly. I know a lot of people don't, but we don't get enough... Um, I don't know, po starters, I guess, that are actually walk on four legs, in my opinion. And him just being a giant turtle with, like, an actual, uh, I don't know, biome on his back is really neat to me. 
that being said, the shiny is a whole lot less neat to me. Uh, I don't mind, I guess, how his body turns like a tealish. But the green kind of turns more drab, and same with the yellow on his legs, and it's just kind of, it doesn't, it just kind of makes it more generic and, I don't know, not great. It's just, the colors don't really pop how it is. It seems like, I don't, what's the word? I don't know, just kind of gray and bland in my opinion. I'm probably going to get flack for that, but that's, I don't know, I don't know. There's not a whole lot else I can say about it. It's just, ugh. I really love the Pokemon, but the shiny just, it's not great. Um, that puts us on Gen 5 now. Gen 5 being, what's the first one? Oh. I, there's not a lot I can say about Telfox. It's my least favorite starter Pokemon of all time. But... That being said, the actual shiny is really, really good in my opinion. I love how the witch turns um, like a, a purple and a lighter purple, you know? It's like the whole, it's the whole Pokemon is, it's a witch, you know? It's, she casts spells and does all this type of stuff while being a fox at the same time. So I think the colors actually really work for what it is. And if this was the actual colors for the Pokemon, I might love it a lot more than I do. Because I do not like Delphox at all. It is not good, in my opinion. Just a bad Pokemon. Um, to move on, we're at Samurott here. And it's kind of the same for Samurott, where it just doesn't change that much, you know? It's, he's going into C tier. It's a C tier. It's just, I like Samurott. I really do for what he is, but... The shiny hardly changes, and like I like how the shells turn a little bit of a darker shade of, I don't know, I guess beige, and the uh, the blue turns darker, which is really cool. But at the same time, it is hardly a change of from what we're given with uh, base Samurai. Really, it's just it's not enough for me. It's not enough, and I think Samurai had a lot more potential for a shiny than what he got. Being a samurai, I mean, come on. Come on, Pokemon. Where does that put us? Now we are on... Where is... There he is. Um, Infernape. Infernape, I actually really, really like the shiny. Uh, I love how the blue... Or the um, fire turns to a blue instead of an orangish red, you know? Like in the base look. Infernape is not one of my favorite starters, but the shiny... It just stands out. It looks so good. The blue um, being the blue flames being animated too in the games just look it looks so good. I love it. I can't say enough about it. It's just beautiful. If you haven't seen how it looks when it actually uh, moves, I would definitely look it up. The animation looks stellar for it. Uh, that being said, we're on <sighs> Superior. I don't love Superior Shiny. It's just kind of really it's a D tier, honestly. I never have loved Superior in general, but the shiny just really changing, like, the top of it being blue. There's just some more blue accents, I guess, on it now, which looks better, in my opinion, than the original. But it's not too high of a bar, really. It's just kind of like, eh, they, they didn't, it feels like they didn't try that much with it. They just kind of threw on some blue accent and called it a day. It's just, it doesn't, it's not the best, in my opinion. It's just, it's just not. <laughs> It's not, it's not the best at all, in my opinion. That moves, I just realized we are missing a starter. Who are we? We have Chestnut. We are missing, um, who actually are we missing? I'm blanking on it now. It's the fire. Oh, no. When did I do Delphox? Did I do Delphox, like, way too early? No, oh, that's weird. I, did I blank and do it as a Gen 5? I think I did. And then I did Pig Knight right after. Or not Pig Knight. Um, the, man, I really just blanked and did that. That's okay. That's okay. Delphox is an honorary Gen 5 Pokemon. You can really tell how I uh, do not care <laughs> about Delphox. Yeah. Believe it or not, Delphox is actually Gen 6. I just completely whiffed that, but that's okay. 
it's still I said what I said. Uh, then for the rest of Gen Six, we have Chestnut. Chestnut, honestly, it is an S tier. I really, really love Chestnut Shiny. The uh, it, I feel like it works so much better for it than its actual base rate. And if this was what Chestnut always looked like, I would probably pick him over um, Greninja almost every time. Honestly, I know that's kind of blasphemous, but I genuinely would. Uh, I love how the uh, it's just kind of an earthy look almost. It, I feel like it adds like a poncho type vibe to his um, like shellish shell armor backplate thing. It's just, it works. The orange, yellow, and brown that it adds works a whole lot more than its base rate, and it just makes the Pokemon look beautiful, in my opinion. It's not, like, the most eye-popping shiny out there, but it just works so well with Chestnut and how he really looks and the Pokemon itself. Um, Where does that put us now? We'll do Greninja. Oh, boy, I wonder where this one's going to go. There's not a whole lot I can say about Greninja Shiny that you haven't already heard before. Black Shiny's pretty much always great. Uh, it's the same argument with Charizard, really. They don't really fail. Uh, Greninja Shiny, too, it's just one of the best Shiny Pokemon out there. Uh, not even starters, so it's kind of hard to put this one lower than it is. It just really makes the whole Ninja thing pop out and work <laughs> a whole lot more than it just kind of being a blue frog, but... Damn, I love Greninja Shiny so much. It's just so good. And here we are with Gen 7. We actually don't have Gen 8 on here, which is kind of weird. It's not the worst thing ever. I don't know why I'm scrolling as if, like, I'm going to find them further down. But uh, it's not really the worst. I can just kind of give my thoughts, I guess, on them. If you've never seen the Gen 7 or Gen 8 Pokemon, that would be kind of kind of insane for me. They're honestly not my favorite anyway. They're kind of... They actually might be my least favorite starter Pokemon of any generation. Yeah, now that I'm looking through all these, I think they genuinely are. But uh, we'll go through Gen 7 first. We'll start with... Actually, I'm going to start with Infern... Or Infernape. <laughs> uh, not Infernape. Incineroar. But we will start with Incineroar. Um, it's not my favorite but at the same time it's not honestly the worst in my opinion i see the flack it gets pretty constantly yeah it's a c it's uh, it's a b it's honestly i don't hate it i know a lot of people really dislike it but it's it's not terrible in my opinion it's also not the best <laughs> Like, I definitely can see the criticism where the white on red doesn't look terrible, but that's actually, or where it does look terrible, I guess. But it's never been um, one of my, like, hated on color themes. I always honestly like white and red and the whole peppermint thing, but it doesn't, eh. It, it's kind of a weird one for Incineroar of all Pokemon to all of a sudden get white instead of black. Again, I don't hate it. It's just kind of the middle of the road, I think, for me, as far as shiny starters go. Um, and then that puts us on uh, Decidueye, which has another awesome, awesome shiny, in my opinion. One of the best we've had. Possibly one of my... It's one of my favorite starters, honestly. Like When I look at the rest of them I've put here in S tier... Decidueye is one of the better ones up here, honestly. Like, for it just being one of the newer Gen 7 uh, starter Pokemon, they did a great job with this shiny. Just the, the dark blue on black on red, it's a phenomenal color palette. And I just, oh, it, it works so, so well for this dark archer Pokemon. Uh, that puts us with Prime Arena. Prime Arena is not the best. It's not terrible. I think it's probably a C tier where it's just kind of, eh. It's not, I can't really put it too much higher. Prime Arena is just kind of a weird Pokemon in general, though. It's just, eh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't love it, but I don't hate it at the same time. I can't put it too much higher. I don't love how the white or uh, how it's blue just kind of turns to white. I don't think it fits better than the blue did for the pokemon and that's really just all i can say about it i think um 
And then if I were to talk about the Gen 8 Pokemon, uh, Rillaboom, I don't love. I don't love how the green just turns to yellow. And again, these aren't on here if you're looking for the <laughs> reference. If you haven't seen what these shinies look like, I would just look them up quick. But um, I don't love how the green just kind of turns to like, it looks like a sickly yellow in my opinion. It's the same with the whole line of the evolution, evolution line. I don't know why I said this so weird. It just kind of turns to a sickly yellow uh, instead of it being the green that I like a whole lot more. And uh, Rillaboom is probably my favorite of the Gen 8 starter Pokemon, so it's kind of tough to, <laughs> that I don't love the shiny. Um, that being said, it's kind of the same for Cinderace. I don't love Cinderace in general. It's not great. It's just a soccer rabbit. I don't get. I don't really get it. I mean, if you were anywhere from America, I guess soccer is a bigger deal. And I'm not saying football. I'm saying soccer to make you mad. Soccer is a bigger deal around those parts of the world, so I guess it's cool having a soccer rabbit for you guys. I don't love it. Uh, the shiny where it just kind of changes the face to like a darker fur almost. It's not. I don't. I don't like it that much, honestly. I don't really see why it changed to that. Like out of anything, I guess it's another color for a rabbit, but ugh, it's not the best. And then actually, Intellion. Um, it is my least favorite starter in a long time honestly like it's up there with delphox on just terms of how much i dislike it but that being said it's actually up there with delphox with the term of how much i like it's shiny the shiny i think works a whole lot better for the spy look they were going for with inteleon just in the beginning so i think it actually the shiny is actually good i can't hate on it i hate inteleon but i do not hate the shiny uh, but other than that, that's really the um, definitive tier list I have for the shiny starter Pokemon. I could probably nitpick things here and there, and the list will probably change sooner rather than later. But for now, here it is. Again, this is all my opinion. If you heard anything I said about these Pokemon that you dislike, honestly, let me know in the uh, comment section. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this list as well. Uh, anything I, anything that you want to say, really, I would love to hear it. Start some beef in the comments. It's always fun reading through what other people say about these Pokemon. Because really, when you think about starter Pokemon, these Pokemon have been with us just our entire childhoods, really. With everyone growing up on uh, Pokemon. These are the uh, like iconic Pokemon, I guess. Other than legendaries, these are the Pokemon. So it's just, they stick with you. And I'm sure there are quite a few... Uh, I guess polarized <laughs> polar co or opinions out there about each of these, especially the shiny forms. Cause they're it's just one of those things, I guess that everyone has their own opinion on. But again, that's just what I think my thoughts and tidbits as a shiny hunter. I thought it would just be kind of fun to look at all of these and have a definitive list out there for each of them. And I think that's really a pretty good list. Yeah, that's as good as I'll get, honestly. So again, um, if you have any thoughts or comments, I would love to hear from it. Just comment below. Tell me what you're thinking. Uh, make sure to give the video a big old thumbs up. I'm sure you loved it. And that being said, make sure you subscribe. Give us a big old subscribe to the channel. I am babbling here, so I will let you go about the rest of your day. You people have a great one.